Hey guys, this is Brandon with FTPtraining.com. It has been way too long, but I do wanna say thank you. We just hit 500 subscribers, so I'm super excited about that. Today, I have a member on my team, and his name is Alex, and he showed me this, and I just wanted to give him props for it. But basically, what I wanted to show you guys was how awesome this technique is. So one of the most frustrating things that I've run into is music, right? To find that perfect piece that works, you've downloaded a preview copy that has a watermark on it. We don't want to just buy the music track and then send it to our client, right? So the hard part is we have these preview tracks and what do you do with a preview track? So here I have an example of a music track. Now it was actually inside of a pack from Audio Jungle, okay? So it's seven and a half minutes when really when I bought the music track though, it's not gonna be that length. So if I went to replace it, it wouldn't take the new one. It wouldn't know what to do with it, right? That is a tip and technique that you can do is basically come up to file, relink file, then you would navigate to it, right? And sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes uh, just by adding that watermark, it makes the track just a little bit longer. But check this out. So this I thought was really cool. So basically what I'm doing is I'm showing behind the scenes of a video shoot that I did for this project. I'll also put this video in the show notes so you guys that might wanna check out kind of what I do. Right now the FDP training is more on the editing side of things where this is more on like the production side of things. So basically what I did is I created a multicam, right? Now usually multicams are for video, but in this instance we wanna use it for audio. And here's basically what happened, right? I'm splicing my audio track and I know it's blue, right? It looks like a video track, but I've already made my cuts and I have I have different things happening, right? Volume's higher in one spot than another. In the past, what I've had to do, right, is, and maybe you guys are already doing this, but check this out. So if I go to my downloads folder, in the past, like what I'd have to do, right, is, you know, import these things in or you just drag and drop them down into your timeline, right? And then, you could just use this as a, as a track, as a guide. You could use a blade tool, blade here. Put these into a group, blade again, blade again. Again, I can make this match, right? With the current cut that I have. But I'm gonna show you another trick, and another shortcut that I think is gonna save you guys a ton of time. So now on every single project that we have, what we do is we go up and we create a multicam for the audio and then the cool thing is all you have to do is double click into your multicam project. From here, I label it preview. You can name it whatever you want, right? But I'm just gonna click here and I'm gonna hit add angle. And then from this, all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that the new track, literally click, drag, add this to now the second layer. And now I can just name this the, let's see, midnight in and that's it, that's all I had to do. And I can tell that it's already lined up based off of the front of the track, front of the track, okay? And if you wanted to, right, you could actually hit sync selection to angle, boom, it's done, okay. But I think it was already there anyway. So now what you're gonna do is, I'm just going to select all these clips. I'm gonna come over into the inspector. I'm gonna go into info and instead of the active audio angle being preview, I actually want to make it the one I just named, which was Midnight in Tokyo. And now if you look down here, I, that's what I have. I have the audio track A going to Midnight in Tokyo. Now if you wanted to, it looks like my visuals aren't the same. It doesn't really matter, but now that, that makes it so that now that is the track. And so check this out. Now if I hit play, okay, so we just got to the kitchen location and we're super excited to I don't know. This is our there it is. The watermark has been replaced. Everything stays the same, right? All the adjustments. So this is my new workflow. Mind you, it looks like everything's all blue. Like it'd be awesome if I could tra change these to green, but that's just not going to be the case. Here's the thing. On this next track, since we didn't do that, now I have to go through and manually do it, right? But if I would have taken the steps and done this part from the from the beginning, then it's done. Anyway, hopefully that tip has been totally cool for you guys today. Let me know comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, again, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't, please do it, share it. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time. Go to ftptraining.com for other tutorials, templates, and Final Cut Pro tools.